Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Good day, people. Today's topic, don't get caught out in the cold. Now, this is a topic directed towards a certain type of brother or a man that has, or a male that hasn't reached adulthood yet and will be reaching adulthood eventually and he needs to know these things because if not, he can get caught in a trap that he can't get out of for many, many years or at all. So this topic like I said, don't get caught out in the cold. So now I'm in Texas, and right now we got a, uh, a, a huge, major winter storm going on, something we're not used to. And I was thinking, wow, what, what, what about the brothers who live with the woman? And when I say live with the woman, meaning... Your name is not on the lease or the mortgage. Your name isn't on the car lease. Your name isn't on any utility bills. That's what I mean by living with the woman. This has got to be one of the worst times to <laughs> bump heads with that woman and get put out got to be one of the worst times and it can happen and it does happen and it is happening i guarantee you right now despite the weather is happening all right so how do we avoid that how do we avoid it how do you get out of the trap you avoid it by from jump never ever move in with the woman never now, if you guys want to build together, come into a place together where both of your names are on the bills and the lease, cool. But don't ever move in with the woman where she has all the control. It won't work. It won't work for several reasons. For one reason you don't want to do it is you always want to have self-respect. And you can never have proper self-respect for yourself if you're dependent on someone else. Never. Number two, you don't want to be left out in the cold in situations like this. All right? Number three, you want her to respect you. You want to respect you and know that you're a man that can take care of himself, self-sufficient, independent, and you don't need her to survive, right? She needs to know that. So, like I say, in the very beginning, when you hit adulthood, don't ever do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. And I know some brothers do it because, well, many brothers do it because they can't get housing. Maybe from bad credit or a check of criminal pass, a felony, and so they can't get housing. They can't get anything in their name. So I have a bit of advice for, for that type of guy. First, you got to be self-disciplined. Self-disciplined. And you got to be focused. Right? You can't be distracted by the female. By the pootie tank. You can't be distracted by it. So even if you have to be in discomfort temporarily to avoid a lifetime of hell, it's worth it. Meaning you may have to go stay in a cheap motel. Right? You might have to get a roommate, but you're going to have your peace of mind at the end of the day. 
and you're going to have your self-respect and the respect of your peers and the respect of a woman if you decide to date. My number two suggestion is don't worry about dating. Focus on you. Come up with a plan of how you're going to make yourself more valuable. Come up with that plan. Execute that plan to a T. Be disciplined and focus. Execute the plan. For as credit, there's different ways today where you can fix your credit. There's so many credit services out there. It's easy to fix your own credit. Now, I won't go into detail of how to get things off your credit report because that's my that's not my, my thing. That's not what I want to focus on, even though I know it. I don't want to be the go-to guy for that. I will say... There's three things I, I used in the past to help build my credit, right? One is the Grain app, G-R-A-I-N app. The second is the Self app, S-E-L-F. And the third is a website where you create an account, and it's called Lockbox, L-O-Q-B-O-X.com. These are three services that will help you build your credit establish some credit and build your credit these are like digital credit cards and one is like lockbox is like a uh, online savings account but what they do you agree to put a certain amount of money monthly into this account you can't touch it until a year and they report monthly that you have kept up your agreement that you have made the payments so you're paying yourself and you can't touch the money to the end of the year, but they're reporting that yes, he is complying to the agreement we made. It may be $20 a month, $30 a month, whatever you agreed upon. So those are three good services to help build your credit. To get things off your credit, you're gonna have to do some work and research that. I won't go into that. So first, establish your credit, All right? Now, if you got a felony, and this is what I tell brothers uh, who have felonies, your mindset has to be entrepreneurship. It has to be. It has to be independence. It has to be, I'm going to do it for myself. And you can, you can succeed that way. You can. Find your niche. Get your skill. Get your trade. Focus on it. Perfect it. Perfect it. Monetize it. It's simple. So there's really no excuse. You know, uh, you're going to have to be more disciplined, I would say, than a nine to five guy. But that's okay. It's going to be worth it at the end because you're going to have independence. And you're actually more empowered than a nine to five guy when you go that route. Because right? you set the mark, you set the limit on how much you want to make or don't want to make. That's all up to you. It's all up to how well you hustle out there. So that's where your mind state has to be. So what happens when you're moving with with the woman though? You're under her control. She can put you out. She's dictating your destiny. And you never want that. You'll never get that back either when she loses that respect or come into the relationship without that respect. And so I see it all the time. I, I see it. I see brothers getting put out of homes, out of apartments. They got to move with this woman. And they got to move over here with this woman that they did sitting on the side because they have to have a go-to. They got to have something in their back pocket just in case the woman starts tripping. They got to have somewhere to go. It's not the way to live, brothers. So you want to always have self-respect for yourself. And you want to have respect of your peers, other men, and of your woman. And so when y'all do come into agreement that y'all are going to be in a relationship, you come into the table earning and demanding that respect, deserving that respect. Because she knows this dude can do it on his own. And I'm telling you, the man that can do it on his own gets treated differently than the man who comes into a situation where he can't have his name on a lease or he can't put anything in his name totally, totally different situations man the woman deals with the guy totally, two totally different ways 
never want to be in that situation. So don't get caught out in the cold. And I know I'm speaking on <laughs> this, this turbulent time, but I don't care if it's the summer or the spring. Don't get caught out there. Do your independent thing. Even like I say, even if you have to be in discomfort temporarily, it's okay. Just have a plan, execute the plan, and you'll get out of that thing. Okay? Peace.